Hi, you guys. Welcome to Melissa Valentine's Nursery. My name is Melissa, and we are here with episode two. Two. That's right, episode two. Now, this one, remember this ser this uh, series is called Dolls from the Crib, the Dark Tales of a Doll Collecting. Now, episode two is PMS City slash Menopause City. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I have written down. You guys, I have to refer to my notes because this is a good idea, but I got to write it down. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting older. PMS City slash Menopause Metropolis. Bipolar doll collecting. Now, we all have this. I don't care what you say. I don't care. I don't care. Now, there's a reason this baby is over here. Okay? We all collect our babies. And we all collect a certain way. All right? When I first started collecting babies, this was the one that started it. Alyssa Skull by Natalie Frankenbridge. Okay? Um, her name's Adelaide. And she started it all for me. I, I, I wanted a reborn for 10 years. And I had this one solo after I bought her. I had her for months and months and months and you would have thought this was my daughter. I spoiled her. Okay. I still spoil her, but not as much. Now she, I'm scared of ruining her. So the thing is, let me tell you what the thing is. All right. The thing is, we, a lot of us are consumers. We like to shop. And when we have something we like to shop for, we shop and we, we go through phases, right? We all go through phases. So when I had her, and I had her for months and months and months, one leads to what? Two. And two leads to three, right? And we can't, we decide, you know, we have a style or whatever. And then we want to, you know, decorate. And maybe we have a style of clothes we want. You're, you know what I'm saying? And from her, I went to, um, you know... I like the clothes. Well, I like the clothes eyes. I went from her to another clothes eyes. And then I wanted an open eyes one to see. But once I got the open eye one, actually, no, I went from her to a close eyes to an open eye. Yeah, open eye, my ass been awake. And I realized I do like the closed eyes. Be I, nice, open eyes are nice too. But like, you see what I'm saying right now? Like, we're, we're wishy washy. You know what I'm saying? We want this, we want that. We're trying to find our way. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So. Then we go through a phase where we had a few babies and then we get on this high, this little baby high. A lot of us will get on this high and we'll see a nice baby. Oh my God, the price is so wonderful. Oh, I got to get this baby. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I got to get this baby and da, 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 da. Or, you know, and even if it's, even if we're not into this, by the way, is a Gerber outfit. Um, there's the onesie. This might be a little big for her. And... Then you got the bloomies that go with it. And um, hold on, I got a piece of polyfill that came from out of nowhere. Um, but anyway, so we get crazy with our collecting, right? And it's like, we get a little bipolar. Um, and so this video is about that, all right? Now, um, we'll buy babies and we get the baby and the magic isn't there and we're like oh why did i buy this baby you know after i had three or four babies i impulse bought and i bought my luca my luca uh it's the M uh emmy emily sculpt i bought luca from a car for like 300 dollars. i didn't even have the money i bought free i bought this but he's beautiful but then there was other babies that i bought and i'm trying to debate should i leave this on her no, I'm taking it off. But like, um, I don't think I'm going to put a onesie on her. And then, you know, then the, you, you buy the babies and you buy them because they're a good price. And you're like, oh my God, you know. And me and Sandra do this. We'll see babies that are a good price. And we're like, oh man, that's such a good price. I like it, you know. 
And then all of a sudden we get it home and what do we do this for? You know, I'm checking her out. I don't change her often because she's getting shiny and she was my first one. I've had her a couple of years and I really, um, I've worked on her a little taking the shine off, but I'm really scared with her. Um, so, and that's like me, like I bought a couple of babies that I thought I would love and adore in my collection. And then I got them and I was like, why? Or I had high hopes and aspirations and dreams. And well, I'm going to do this, this baby. I'm going to do that. Never happens. Never happens. Like, for instance, okay? If you know um, Kalila's Precious Ones, she bought Jenny Awake for me. Jenny Awake, I bought with the intention of rooting her hair. And I did. But for the longest time... I didn't root her hair and it turned into something that was a long standing project. And finally I was like, Hey, let's do what we planned, right? Let's root this baby. And if I like her, I'll keep her. If not, you know, but by the time I finished rooting her, I started on paradise galleries dolls and Ashton Drake. And I, you know, you taste, you taste the whole flavor of all the dolls, you know? So, I mean, I've had, I got Amazon, I got Paradise Galleries, I got Ashton Drake Inside, I, you know, like all these, you know, people, different people's nurseries. So, um, I want to, I sold her because I was like, you know, I would keep her. I was going to keep her as a boy, keep her as Billy, but, um, Mama Cheryl bought her, which was wonderful. And she's a girl and, um, she's a cutie pie. Um, so, and then... Um, put her hand through here. This might be way too big for her. Um, who else? I mean, I've got tons of people that bought babies for me. And, oh, then on my hopes and dreams, I, I can paint dolls, which I do. I paint, but I'm getting better. You guys, I'm getting a lot better. You know, we go through these phases. Oh, let me tell you. So then when I went through a phase where, oh, you know, I got an extra bedroom. I got I'm going to I want to have a nursery. I got to have a nursery. You know what? I got this extra bedroom. It was my homeschooling room for my son, but he don't need it anymore. You know, I, I, I got to do something with it. I got to do something with it. I, I want a nursery. I want a nursery. So I went from having a cradle in my reading room to I went ahead and put a bed in there and then I got a changing table and, you know, roll over the place. And then I wanted this. I wanted a fairy theme and then I wanted this theme because I wasn't going to paint my room. So I had to match the green. I was going to do fairies. And then I was, uh, but then I was like, you know, I like camping. Let's do woodlands. So I went with woodlands. Um, she's cute. This is a little big on her, you guys, but I'll show you her in a minute. She's got bed hair. I try not to brush it too much because, like I said, I've had her a while. And um, she's very floppy. She, I may have to re-stuff um, her and everything. It's been a while. Um, so, poor baby. This might not even fit her head. But we go through, yeah, it is, it is. We go through moments and we go through changes. And then we go through, we want the baby. We don't want the baby, you know? And we like a sculpt. We don't like a sculpt. Like I hated the Liam sculpt. I hated the Liam sculpt. See, she's swimming in her clothes, but she is precious. Um, and she's precious to me because she was my first one that started this whole thing. Um, so, yeah, and her artist, um, actually, the, her it looks like her artist style of painting has changed a little, but you can check her out. Um, I can't remember the nursery, but Natalie Frankenbridge on rewards.com, and she's still there making babies. But um, like I said, we go through, you know, hormonals up and downs, and, you know, we're emotional buyers. We go through moments in life, and at the time, you know, my husband had just left, and that was my first big impulse purchase was Luca, um, my Emily. That's why I brought him up. And, and also my husband leaving, I went apeshit nuts and made a whole nursery and was like, you know what? You know? So I, I, I did what I, I wanted to. And, I, you know, I don't have a regret about it. But um, I do wish I would have been more selective with what I have brought in at the time because when I was doing this at first with this nursery I was all over the place you know 
And uh, we have times in our life, you know, some of you know, some of us are young and we got monthly moments that come and go. We get emotional. We talk, you know, we have behaviors, whatever. But we also we're women, and we're emotional, and we go through moments where our emotions can sometimes affect our impulsiveness. We may be longing for something, you know, and that is whatever it is we choose, we fill that void. Um, as therapeutic as these babies are, and believe me, I am an advocate for having reborns therapeutically. And, and, you know, it's just something, you know, as a hobby, I'm all for it, but there is like a poisonous side. There is a poisonous side. Um, and from dolls in the cradle made a, a video, I don't know, a few months back that uh, she looked around her nursery and was like, something along the lines, all the money I spent on these dolls, it makes me sick. And then she buys dolls. You know what I'm saying? And we all do it. We all do it. Um, I have dolls everywhere. When I had my company, I had company yesterday for my son's birthday. Um, I have dolls in my living room. I got dolls in my doll room. I got dolls in my bedroom. You know, I got dolls everywhere. Because, you know, some of them I bought because of the female, the innate, you know, genetically built in, born with, uh, you know, female emotion uh, uh, that we're born with. You know, I'm trying to tell you what, what I'm trying to tell you, but it's not coming out right. But you know what I'm saying? So um, that's a that's an ugly side of dog collecting, you know? Um, what else do I have? Crazy buying authentic, da, da, da. soul ball, the lion, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, and then we go broke, right? A lot of us go broke, and what do we do? We can't afford the things we really would like. Like the uh, like the really nice reborn. Some of us collect nicer reborns than others. Some of us we collect what we can afford, but for our pocketbooks we have a higher end, right? We have a cutoff limit, and your cutoff limit will rise as you collect, and then you get oh let me reel that shit back in, and then it rises again. Oh let me reel that shit back in, but then there's times that we're really broke, and we are broker than what we you know than our limits. Than what we can get. So what do we do? We're like, well, let's go on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace or Macari or, you know, let's go see what Amazon has on sale for 50, 60, 70 bucks, right? Or, oh, uh, Paradise Galleries <coughs> gave me a coupon for 10% off or they're having a sale on this. And because the baby's cute, it may not be something that we initially wanted, but to Fill that need for a new baby we go buy it knowing good damn well if we have more money we're not gonna buy that baby we're gonna buy a high standard one you know a high quality one to our standard of our higher budget right <coughs> so at the high end of our budget like for instance my friend Sandra we're talking about this we do this thing where we see less expensive babies at, even at the times where we can't afford much we buy it Knowing we don't like them. Like, knowing that they're full of void. But, <coughs> I'm choking, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Whew, what happened? I don't know. The demons. Oh my God. Okay, anyway. Let me go back. See, the demons, the demon, the, the, the skeletons in the closet of the dolls, right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me get back over here. What, what was I talking about? <coughs> yeah. Well, um buy dolls knowing good and damn well that if we had the money we're not gonna buy that doll so we wind up selling them we sell the doll and we were talking about it the other day she bought a couple dolls for good prices and it just she brought them got them home and she's like you know in reality this isn't my cup of tea these are not my cup of tea so she got them for sale right now as this video is being recorded um and then what she wants to do is eventually get a doll at her higher high limit, you know? So um, she wants to minimize at this point right now, right? 
we all say we want to do something and then six months down the road we're out of hand you know or we're getting it together either way so um she's gonna try to go to the you know be more selective with her dolls right now and right now i don't want to look at any more babies um but then the other night she sends me a baby for 103 dollars on makari beautiful baby the woman has to sell the baby has to sell the baby because she needs that quick money right and that's another thing right we go ahead we spend two i don't know some of us spend 150 200 300 400 whatever on these babies oh man we need money for easter or we need money for whatever right and we oh you know we love our children and we do what we have to do for our children and we need that extra little bit of moolah so what do we do we sell the baby get the money and then turn around and buy another baby when we have the money for our new baby instead of you know and you know sometimes some of us have regrets about the baby we sold because we did it for a particular reason and that's horrible and that's part of the emotion that runs through us our hobby and sometimes we struggle with the balance of our families and having to do what we need to do for our families you see how emotional this hobby can be how emotional hormonal I mean it's like everywhere you know um, and mo not all of us not all of us but most of us are women and what happens when you get a lot of women in a room it gets crazy it gets crazy and there's gonna be some women that can't handle each other you know hopefully not a, we're cool we're cool but I'm just saying it's the like the hormonal bipolar whatever collecting um, where the ups and downs I'm not trying to give if anybody has bipolar I'm not trying to give you a negative um, what do you call it you know I don't a reputation what I'm referring to is the ups and downs of the collecting itself and then when in the collecting you got the emotion okay and, we, and you're not your emotions you, 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 those emotions are temporary. And with that, sometimes our babies are temporary. That was good. I should be a, I should be a nurse. I should be a psychiatrist. So with that being said, a lot of you could probably agree on this. A lot of you could agree on this. Um, I'm not going to lie. If I said, Hey, I went crazy nuts buying clothes for infant baby girls. I got so many infant baby girl clothes, but that's about 75% of my clothes. So that's why I'm always changing babies. Um, except for this one, right? Spoiled brat right here. I got a lot of clothes for her. I'm, I'm just starting with her. And right now I can't buy her too much financially, but you know. So anyway, this is episode two of our series of our series. I hope you guys enjoyed it very much like subscribe comment hit that bell for so you know when the next one's coming right and um, I love each and every one of you we wouldn't be here as a community together if it wasn't for all of you as all right right all right you guys I love you guys so much I will see you next